everyone so today I'm gonna to be making a video called the horror fiend tag and I believe it was made by a youtuber who whose username is actually horror fiend but I'm not really for sure I was tagged by a really awesome youtuber named the horror vault I'll leave them in the subscription box below and also before I get started I just want to say that if my camera is moving at all, or if you hear any weird noises, my cat's on my bed and there's probably another cat that wants in my room, so yeah, I'm sorry. I can't. Also, I want to say thank you to the Horror Vault for tagging me in this tag. I had really been wanting to participate in this tag for a while, but nobody ever tags me in any of these, so it meant a lot that you tagged me. But there are six questions here, and so I'm just going to go ahead and jump on into it. Number one, what is your first memory of watching a horror movie? Well, you guys probably already know my answer to this. My newer subscribers probably have no idea. The first horror movie I ever really remembered watching was when I was around, uh, I want to say like three or four-ish. I don't know. I was really small. I wasn't going to school yet. And my mom was obsessed with horror movies. And she would watch A Nightmare on Elm Street whenever it would come on the TV. Like, she would watch the entire marathons. And it used to come on the TV a lot back in the day. Because I was born in the 90s, so I was born directly after the 80s and when that movie actually came out. I grew up watching A Nightmare on Elm Street, and I was traumatized by Freddy Krueger. I legit had you know, freaky nightmares of Freddy Krueger, like, standing in my kitchen, smiling with his, you know, his nav glove, standing there like this, staring at me in the middle of the night, and I swore I seen, like, his shadow on our ceiling. Like, I was petrified after watching that movie. And another movie I can remember watching was Halloween. We watched that every single year in my home. And I was just fascinated by both of them, really. Like, I didn't want to take my eyes off of them, no matter how much they scared me or freaked me out. One of my first memories ever watching a horror movie. Second question was, name your favorite horror movie kill. Now, my answer to this has also got to do with A Nightmare on Elm Street. And my favorite horror movie kill has got to be... Johnny Depp being sucked down into that bed, like a water bed, by Freddy Krueger, and then this blood just goes shooting up onto the ceiling. Like, that was the most iconic horror movie kill for me because, number one, Night Run Elm Street was the first horror movie I can ever remember watching. And, number two, I've always been obsessed with Johnny Depp. Like, I've always thought he was gorgeous, and I believe A Night Run Elm Street was the first movie he ever played in or ever acted in at all so <sighs> I love that scene <laughs> and as much as I hate to see Johnny Depp die that was like the coolest horror movie kill to me. Three was recite your favorite horror movie quote. I have several so number one is gonna be they're coming to get you Barbara <laughs> from Night of the Living Dead and the second one was Welcome to Prime Time, Bitch, from A Night Run Elm Street, I think. Three, Dream Warriors. Thanks for the Ride, Lady, from Creep Show 2. Four was What's a Horror Movie That You Love But Everyone Seems to Hate? So, this was a really tough question for me because I feel like all of the horror movies that I like, you know, everyone else likes too. Like, I don't think that there's one horror movie that I like that most people don't really care for. But there is one in particular, and that is Halloween 3, The Season of the Witch. I think mainly people hate this movie because, you know, it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. And I can totally see that. However, I do still think that it's a really good movie, and I can remember, you know, growing up watching this movie as well. And I never really found it scary because it was just masks to me. But I really liked it, and there was just something about it that was very classic to me. Like, it's something that I have to watch every Halloween, and a lot of people don't care for that movie because of that. I really enjoyed it, so that was my movie. Number five was, would you rather watch your all-time favorite horror movie every day for the rest of your life, or 
meet your horror idol, dead or alive, for 15 minutes. Well, I already watch my favorite horror movie all the time. Like, I pretty much know it word for word. So I wouldn't choose that. If I had any opportunity to meet my horror icon, even if it's just for 15 minutes, that's enough for me. Like, I would have that memory for the rest of my life, and it would seriously mean so much to me. And my horror icon, of course, is going to be Robert England. He always freaked me out as a kid. Even when he took the... Um, Freddy Claw off and the prosthetic and everything like he always freaked me out just because like I knew that was the guy that played Freddy Krueger and for me he just traumatized me when I was a kid and nobody can play Freddy Krueger like Robert England I'm sorry so I'm gonna have to say meet my horror idol for 15 minutes because that would just be like the entire world of me like it would mean so much to me and then the sixth and the last question was tell me a horror movie you think I should check out. So I feel like I've said this so many times in my videos. I've always recommended this movie to everyone and it's not a very well-known horror movie. Um, I feel like a lot of people give this movie hate as well but it freaked me out so badly whenever I first seen it and it is an Australian horror movie. And this horror movie is called Lake Mungo. So I don't want to give too much away, but pretty much it's about this girl that has this feeling deep in her gut that she's going to die. And she carries around this video camera with her everywhere she goes. And she tries to like film all of these moments leading up to her death. And it's just, it's so freaky to me. So freaky. And if you haven't checked it out, I'd highly recommend it. It is so good in my opinion. Um, also another horror movie that I would recommend is called The Nightmare and it's actually a Netflix movie I believe. Um, it's only on Netflix from what I know. I don't know too much about it but it's a documentary on sleep paralysis and um, I actually had a friend recommend that movie to me. I watched it and I fell in love with it and oh my god, I watched it late in the night. It was all dark in my house. This horror movie was so freaky and sleep paralysis has always intrigued me. It's always freaked me out ever since I can remember and I thought it was a really good documentary. So I highly suggest that one as well. And that was the horror fiend tag. So once again, thank you so much Horror Vault for tagging me in this tag. And I will leave all the questions and everyone's links down in the description so you can go check them out. And I'm going to tag three people. The first one being Psychotic Beauty, which is my best friend Ashley. And the second one is called... The second one is Prince of Halloween. And three was the last trick-or-treat. Now, I don't know if he has already done this tag because he is into a lot of horror stuff. So if you have, then I'm sorry for tagging you another time. You know, I just thought that you would be interested if you haven't. So, yeah. That was my little video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And... Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video.